Hello and welcome to the PCM Tech Help Show. I am your host, Craig Chamberlain, and in this video, we're going to be talking about how to install a graphics card into your computer. Now, this is a dedicated graphics card rather than integrated. For those of you who don't know the difference, an integrated graphics card is inside the motherboard, so if you open up your computer and you don't have a separate card for graphics, and the way to tell if it's a graphics card is it'll have a monitor output, then you have integrated graphics, and I feel sorry for you. Integrated graphics are horrible. Unfortunately, they've come up with a lot of real fancy names for them, especially on laptops, and people go out and buy them, they're like, I got the HD7954 GTX Twin Turbo, and it's still integrated. And it's still a piece of junk, but it sounds great. But dedicated graphics are the way to go. This is a mid-grade card. It's not for hardcore gaming. I'd say it's low to mid-level gaming. It's still pretty big, considering it's like a mid-level. You should see... The bigger ones, actually, if you Google them, sometimes they're like the size of your case. It's like a computer in a computer. But let us let me show you how to install it. Uh, before I actually physically put it in there, this is your power connector. I talked about it in a previous video. It's a six-pin power connector, and your either your power supply will have one of those, or it'll have, uh-oh, or you'll have one of these, which is actually included with the graphics card, which will convert two four-pin connectors into one six pin connector and then you just plug this one in there like that and then you'd plug your two four pin connectors in there. This particular power supply I have does have one so we don't have to worry about that. Now next thing to do is to line it up. Make sure you're going to put it in the right slot. This is a PCI Express one. It's only going to fit in one slot okay so don't force it into one if it's not the right size. It means you got the wrong card or the card is incompatible with your board. I'll go ahead and hover it over it before I slide it in there and I'll see which two of these side panels I gotta take out. In this case it's these two. I don't know if you can see those or not. And so I'll take my handy dandy screwdriver. That's right, I just quoted Blue's Clues. I have a two-year-old, leave me alone. Between that and Phineas and Ferb. My life's awesome. Okay, so I'll take these two out. But this other one will come out. Seems kind of latched in. Okay. And then make sure you take off this nice little protective sleeve they have on there. Usually they come like that new. And notice how there's a real small section here and a longer section here on these cards. It's the same thing in the slot. So just make sure you line up the pins appropriately. And sometimes it can be a little funny. You shouldn't have to force it though. But that went in there pretty smooth, so we're pretty much plugged in. Now we gotta connect our power. Here's our PCI Express power connector. Okay, the power is connected. And lastly, we will connect the final screws. And make sure you do this because a lot of people don't put these screws back in here. And believe it or not, there's something called chip creep. I was quiet for a minute so that could process. Chip creep is actually over time from heat and uh, basically expanding and contracting of heat and external environmental factors, your cards can actually slowly creep out of the slot and then eventually you'll have issues and you have to open it back up, put it back in, but avoid the chip creep. Don't want that, that's bad. So that's all there is to it. Check it out. We've installed our graphics card. This particular card has a DVI output. It has a HDMI output and a DP output. Don't ask me what that is. I still don't know. I'd have to Google it. I'm sure it's important. So that's all there is to this video. As always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it. And stay tuned. There's plenty more videos to come. We've almost built this whole thing. How awesome is that? And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.